Hello, my name is Erin. This tutorial shows two ways to insert files into existing PDFs in Adobe Acrobat. The first method uses the Page Thumbnails panel. This method allows you to insert files from within the main document window. The second method uses the Organize Pages toolbar. This method requires you to leave the main document window but provides an easier interface for rearranging pages. The inserted files can be PDFs, images, or files from another application on your computer, such as Microsoft Word or Microsoft Excel. It's important to note that the inserted files will be converted to the PDF format. So, files with interactive properties, such as Excel files, will be flattened to a text format. However, the original file will not be affected. Today I'll be using Adobe Acrobat Pro DC. These steps also apply to Adobe Acrobat 2020 and Adobe Acrobat 2017. Plus, the steps are similar for PC and Mac. The slight differences between the two platforms will be explained within the individual steps. Adobe's free PDF display software, Acrobat Reader, doesn't provide a way to insert files into PDFs. To insert a file using the Page Thumbnails panel, begin by selecting the navigation arrow on the left side of the screen, and then select the Page Thumbnails icon. Next, select the Options button in the Page Thumbnails panel, and then select Insert Pages from the drop down menu, followed by From File in the submenu. When the Select File to Insert dialog box appears, locate and select the file that you want to insert. If you're on a Mac and the file is grayed out, select the Options button and then select All Files in the Show menu. Next, select the Open button on a PC or the Select button on a Mac, and now choose the location where you want to insert the file in the Insert Pages dialog box. You can select Before or After from the Location menu, and then select First, Last, or enter a specific page number before or after which the file will be inserted. For example, I'm going to insert my file before the second page in my PDF. When you're finished, select the OK button. If the inserted file came from another application such as Microsoft Word or Excel, you'll momentarily see a dialog box displaying the conversion process. And then the inserted file should appear as a new page or pages in the Page Thumbnails panel. If necessary, you can click, hold, and drag a page to a new location. Release the page when you see a blue bar where it should be inserted. To insert files using the Organize Pages toolbar, open the PDF into which you want to insert the file, and then select the Tools tab. Next, select Organize Pages from the Tools Center, and then select the Insert button in the Organize Pages toolbar followed by From File in the drop-down menu. Once again, locate and select the file in the Select File to Insert dialog box, and then select the Open button on a PC or the Select button on a Mac. Choose the location where you want to insert the file in the Insert Pages dialog box as we discussed in the previous section. When you're finished, select the OK button. The inserted file should appear as a new page or pages in the Organize Pages screen. You can now click, hold, and drag a page or pages to a new position if you would like to. 
Release the page or pages when you see a blue bar where it should be inserted. When you're ready to return to the main document window, select the close button in the toolbar. And as always, remember to save your PDF to save your changes. As mentioned in the introduction, when you insert a file into a PDF as we did today, the inserted file is converted to the PDF format. If you want to connect files without converting them to PDFs, please see my other tutorials titled How to Create a PDF Portfolio in Adobe Acrobat and How to Attach Files to PDFs in Adobe Acrobat. You can also see the complete list of all my Adobe Acrobat tutorials in the playlist titled How to Use Adobe Acrobat, which is linked in the description box below. All the steps we just performed are listed with images on ErinWriteWriting.com, along with all my other writing-related software tutorials to help you succeed at work and in the classroom. Feel free to leave me a comment if there's a specific topic that you'd like me to talk about in the future. And please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss upcoming tutorials. And give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. Thank you so much for watching.